Remember that the body's nervous system has two main parts, the central nervous system, or CNS, which processes information and makes decisions, and the peripheral nervous system, or PNS, which connects the CNS to the rest of the body and transmits information between the body and the CNS. Let's focus on the peripheral nervous system. The PNS is itself divided into two subsystems. These are known as the somatic nervous system and the autonomic nervous system. Somatic means related to the body. This is the part of the PNS that's under your conscious control. When you choose to eat a sandwich for lunch, the somatic nervous system controls the muscles that allow you to pick up the sandwich and to bite it and to chew, all things which you're deciding to do. Autonomic means self-governing. Think of the word autonomy or autonomous. This part of the PNS executes all the commands that are done unconsciously. As you eat your sandwich, the PNS is sending signals to your digestive system, increasing the production of saliva and digestive acids, increasing the movements of your stomach and intestines, and increasing blood flow to your intestines to help absorb the nutrients from your food. We also find that the autonomic nervous system is divided into two further subsystems. These are known as the sympathetic and parasympathetic systems. Essentially, the sympathetic nervous system looks after all the functions that get the body ready for activity or to respond to a threat or to an opportunity. The parasympathetic nervous system, on the other hand, is kind of the opposite. It helps you relax and chill out. These diagrams are a simplified map of how the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems connect to other organ systems. Notice that things aren't to scale. The yellow paths represent nerve bundles that innervate the organ systems. To innervate means to connect with nerve cells. You don't need to know all of these connections, but the idea is to appreciate how very interconnected all the systems of your body are. So, the sympathetic nervous system G's you up. It comes into play when you're alert or startled or physically active. It's what looks after the so-called fight or flight response. It can increase your heart rate, open up the bronchioles, that's the little structures in your lungs that take in oxygen, dilate the pupils of your eyes, divert blood flow from your digestive system to your muscles, everything that gets you ready to respond physically. If the sympathetic nervous system dials you up, the parasympathetic nervous system dials you down. It comes into play when you're at rest or calming down. It decreases your heart rate, narrows your bronchioles in the lungs, stimulates your digestive system to get, work on di get to work on digesting your food, and so on. So, this gives us all the major parts of the nervous system. The nervous system is divided into the central and peripheral nervous systems. The peripheral nervous system is divided into the somatic and autonomic nervous systems. Remember, somatic is the conscious part, autonomic is the unconscious part. And the autonomic nervous system is further divided into the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems, which are for uh, getting you G'd up or calming you down. Together, all these parts of the nervous system sense your surroundings, process information and make decisions, and control the other organ systems, looking after both the conscious and unconscious functions of your body.